Long before his weapon hit London, Werner von Braun had aimed for the moon. Von Braun was raised in an elite family, but he got interested in spaceflight very early. As a small boy, he said, I want to spin the wheel of progress. Well, he joined an amateur rocket club launching what we would now think of as backyard toys. I have no doubt was probably perceived as a little weird at the time. And this group of men shooting for the stars caught the attention of famous science fiction film director Fritz Lang. Movie men like uh, Fritz Lang were uh, interested in, in the show business angle of uh, launching uh, these toy rockets. But von Braun was soon offered a new starring role. The German army hired the young scientist for their rocket department. They were interested in all sorts of advanced technologies, and they also noticed the small group around Werner von Braun, which was developing rockets. The Versailles Peace Treaty had forbidden weapons like tanks, planes, heavy artillery to Germany. But nobody had thought of mentioning missiles. When Brown quickly emerged as a brilliant young man who, even in his early 20s, was capable of leading a huge group. The German army put von Braun to work to develop what was to become the world's first ballistic missile, an unmanned projectile, some would argue by today's standards, would be a weapon of mass destruction. 